Well, it's not quite printing day, but we are a little bit closer. We have paper. So this just arrived from Photospeed. A big box of paper that my exhibition is going to be printed on. So in true Peter McKinnon style, time to do some opening. Alright, I'm not very good at this. Speed. Thank you very much for foot to foot speed for uh, helping me with this exhibition. So that is foot speed. Actually, doesn't say. Oh no, it does say. It says on the end. R five or three hundred. My paper of choice. We have an A three pack of R five or three hundred and a an easy book system. Again from foot speed. Um, my intention is to put a almost like a flip book of A3 prints out in the exhibition so the ones that aren't on the wall can actually be ordered or seen at least. It means that I can get more work out there than just the 10 to 15 pieces that are going to be on the wall. Uh, some A4 size sheets for proofing. Need the proof for prints. Another A4 pack for proofing again, because we're going to do a lot of proofing. And then lastly, A lovely box of A2 size sheets of Photospeed R5 or 300. I just love this paper. There we open it. Oh no, it's, it's all sealed in. But I just leave it until they, we actually do start printing it. But yeah, I'm starting to see the whole scale of this exhibition now. going to be at least five images at this size. It's going to be big. It's going to be very big. I've had a very stressful day. It's been the final choosing part for the exhibition. So all kind of 12 images, because two were kind of already sorted for the canvases, uh, but the other 12 of the actual prints that we're going to be printing tomorrow, uh, I've just made the final decision and it is, what time is it? It is quarter to eight in the evening and I've been sitting here since about half nine this morning, just doing final tweaks and deciding what which ones are going to be in. Um, I've almost just completely re-edited in a shot <laughs> which I've at the very last minute decided to go in as one of the big prints. Uh, so <laughs> just making it really hard for myself. So we are making progress and ready for heading down to Andrews tomorrow to do some printing. Um, but in the meantime I decided to unwrap one of the frames that I'm going to be using, one of the big frames, and it is this big beastie there. 
um, that is the size of the frame. Those are A4 prints. Um, so you can kind of get the uh, get the scale of what we're doing, going to be doing here. Uh, it is just enormous, absolutely enormous. And really, I don't even know that my images are going to blow up that big, that nicely yet. And that's a bit of a worry because uh, there's not really much I can do because I've shot them all on a small camera. Uh, oh no, don't have doubts like that, Andy. Don't have doubts like that. So anyways, it's getting printed tomorrow, whatever. pressure of the first one off the uh, printer and it can surely only get easier from now and that one was pretty easy thank you to, thankfully uh, Andrew's been doing a fantastic job looks beautiful uh, happy with that that is probably the easiest one to actually print though so we'll see how the rest go uh, but all going fine at the minute fingers crossed for the next 20 odd or whatever we're doing <laughs> Well, we're chewing through them now. Four done, fifth one coming out of the uh, printer right now. Just down here. Uh, again, these are the easy ones, so. I shouldn't have made the mistake of printing a couple of them at home because I just panicked about how badly they'd come out on my home printer. So thankfully, Andrew's fantastic Canon P2000. Canon P2000 and uh the and, he, and he's and he's good monitor as well um everything's coming out perfectly so far so fingers crossed it's gonna stay that way uh, but yeah all that stress is turning into excitement now so that's good um but these are the small ones we've got to get load up the rule soon and uh get complicated with the big stuff and that might be more of a panic because that's more expensive in more ink but uh, yeah happy so far and we'll uh, we'll just carry on keep on printing till about 10 o'clock right <laughs> oh. well we've printed off the first big one and we've got well apart from having to reconfigure it I'm probably going to have to reconfigure a couple of others uh, we have hit our first snag and it had to be on the biggest bit of paper um, so yes we uh, we've printed this this one faltering under the fury 2017 um, we've just printed that off and unfortunately right in a really noticeable position there is a little tiny fleck of dirt um, so we're having to reprint this one um, so there'll be a nice artist proof available at a knockdown rate after the exhibition Message me for details. Put some light on it. Right, we're really getting into the crux of it now. Uh, 
the last few are causing bother so we've had a spot of lunch and relaxed a bit and uh, we are now just proofing the last few uh, because they've caused a few issues so nice little proof print um, this one just basically just needed desaturated because it's uh, on the contact sheet it was extremely extremely bright and vibrant and I didn't want it bright and vibrant so uh, knocked the saturation back and it's come out spot on so we're just proofing a few and then we'll start printing it on the big stuff again as you can see behind big bits of paper with work on so that's where we're at the minute um, and we'll just carry on that's a new one just come straight off the printer we shall wait or cut proof this will be the last the last big one isn't it uh, so I've actually had to set step into the control room uh, to do some final tweaks on this last big print uh, this will probably I was gonna say it's not gonna be really the centerpiece but it is is one of my definitely one of my favorites uh, so we're making taking particular care over it uh, really just to get the, to get the colors absolutely bang on uh, the brightness bright, bang on uh, so I'm being quite finickety about this one uh, so probably just spent about 10 minutes adjusting what needs adjusted so we're just gonna do a quick proof print and then we're on to printing big again nervous about this one I'm still scared of the scale it's still very very big yeah glad I'm sitting down <laughs> Well that's the end of printing day, um, I am now, I was going to say with child, obviously I am with this gut. Um, I have two, two, three rolls of big prints, a stack of uh, A2 prints and it's been a productive day, it's been a long day. How long have we been going mate? About eight, eight hours? For the sake of... <laughs> that's a yes. Uh, I'm going to be very tired uh, and so will I by the time I get drive back home. Uh, so it's been a, it's been a good one. Always good to be with Andrew. And um, if you ever do need prints done, do um, do do give him a shout. Uh, done fantastic jobs with these. Absolutely brilliant. And now I want, actually want to steal his printer because his printer prints what it's meant to, not like mine. So um, that's it. Pretty much done for today. Next video is probably down at the gallery with Dale Leona. Uh, just interviewing him briefly having a look around the gallery space uh, and seeing why he chose me and all that kind of stuff for his summer exhibition so high pressure and all that so uh, that's pretty much it uh, thanks for watching this video and we'll catch you in the next one keep on see ya